In this lecture, we are going to introduce gradient descent algorithm. In our last lectures, we introduced the loss function for a given W, we can compute errors using MSE errors. Also, we show that the loss graph, something like this. When we talk about the training, what we do is that we want to identify W value that minimizes the loss. In the graph, also we can think of in this way. So let's say this is our true graph, so true W value, which we don't know. And then we can start any W random value. And then minimizing this loss means that by changing this W, we want to make this graph close to our true, so that our prediction is as good as this true real values. So in summary, we can say the learning, what is the learning or training is finding a W that minimizes the loss. So we can express this one using just one mathematical notation. It's called argmax. So it means that we want to identify W, the argument, that minimizes this. So of course, in this case, it's so, so simple, so um, intuitive. Just look at this graph. We can identify what is the W that gives us minimum loss. But imagine that we are using thousands and millions of weights. In this case, it's impossible to compute this W manually. So we have to develop some systematic way that automatically identify this W. So this algorithm is called the gradient descent algorithm. So idea is quite simple. Suppose we have this kind of loss graph. Since we don't know what is the right W, we can just start any random points. Suppose our starting point is in here. And then we have to decide that this is the right place or we have to move in or move out. We have to move in or we have to move out. How are we gonna decide? The best way to decide here is that we can compute the gradient of this point where, where the W is. And then based on this gradient, we can decide either moving in or moving out. For example, this gradient is plus then we're going to move in. So my W becomes negative. If we are standing here, our gradient becomes minus, then W will go to plus. So this is basically the simple idea. And then we can express this one using mathematic notations as well. So here is how we're going to update. This is our gradient. And then what we're going to do is that we do W minus this gradient. Because the gradient is plus, we're going to move in. W is getting smaller. Its gradient is minus, it's getting bigger. So that's why we use minus in here. And then how much we're going to move in it will be defined by this alpha value called the usually running rate. So it's usually a small value, like 0, 0 0.1 or something. So based on this gradient, we move in by this alpha and then and then we can compute the gradient again, and then compute the gradient again, and again, and again. So once we get here, usually the gradient at this point is almost zero. So we don't really move too much. If you start here, it's basically the same thing. So this is a systematic way to identify global minimum. And then in mathematical form, we can just express in using two equations. So our loss is define something like that. Once we define the loss, then we can define how we're going to update our weights. So basically W, new W is previous W minus alpha, which is learning rate, with the gradient, which can be computed with this derivative. Then the question is, the, how can you compute this one? In our case, the equation of loss is rather simple so that we can compute this one. But if you don't remember how to compute, don't worry. There are many tools, many web pages that can help you. For example, you can go to this derivative calculator.net and just provide your loss function here. And then you want to um, ask what is the derivative. And then it will automatically compute and give us the answer, which is 2x, xw minus y will be the derivative of this value. 
and then we can just use you can plug in this one and then we can really implement it so let me just summarize it so w now will be updated using this equation alpha plus 2x xw minus y this is our gradient so let's get into implementation so first of all like before we're gonna define our x and y data and our weight can start from any random value maybe you can start from 3.050 minus 3 depends on uh, your guess and then like previously we're gonna define our fourth network which is a linear x and y head and then we can define the loss based on our definition and then the importantly we can also define our gradient for given and given x and y we can compute using this equation that's the exact implementation of this equation and then once we have this the forward and the loss and the gradient what we can do is that we can update our weight the key idea of our update is this so this is our running rate and this is our gradient computation using this function and then this is how we're gonna update that's it so in this epoch decide how many loops we're gonna go and then we're gonna ex get x and y value and then each time we can compute this gradient and then we update this w and then we move on and then each time we're gonna print out w and loss and then we're gonna ask we're gonna test our system before training and at the training this is the result the beginning we ask what will be the points if I study four hours it's sort of a completely random wrong value but as time goes on as the progress move in then you see the loss value is getting smaller and smaller and then the W value is getting to towards to 2 we know that 2 is the right W value and then at the training we ask to the machine learning system that oh I studied the 4 hours well we might score and then it will predict almost 8 points which is correct so in this lecture we introduced a very simple algorithm called the gradient descent but it's very simple but very efficient and very powerful to automatically identify W which minimized our loss it means that we train our models using this algorithm before we move on to the next lectures I provide a few exercise first let's say we have a slightly modified model in this case we have a two ways w1 and w2 so we have to compute the two different derivatives and update them separately can you compute their gradient first and then once we compute the gradient can you please implement this uh, to do exactly same thing like machine learning automatically in the next lecture we're gonna talk about how we're gonna compute this gradient automatically using graph it's called back propagation algorithm